what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here should talk about scream 6 again here today so sam carpenter who we know is played by melissa barrera we found out in screen 5 that she had a history that related to billy loomis since she is in fact billy's daughter and what happens is we also learned that she had a troubled troubled teenage teenage years i'll say after she found that out she started going out getting her hands on every drug she could as she said and then she just up and left town when she turned 18 judy hicks has an interaction with sam where she says she remembers all the trouble she caused her family and she just seemed to be coming from a place of where she was tired of sam in her teenage years she's very she was very tired of her uh probably dealt with her a lot and also i get i get it in a way where judy is coming from since we find out she used to babysit wes so i'm i'm curious if something happened with wes at one point while she was babysitting wes who knows but jumping into what i think can be going on in scream six during a podcast the morbid a true crime podcast where they were joined by radio silence david arquette and melissa barrera melissa barrera was asked about what we will find out or just asked about sam's sam's story going into scream six and she kind of just she didn't really know how to respond that's that's really what her answer was she said i don't know <laughs> so i think she doesn't know what she could say so i think that gives us an indication that they have talked to her already about it she's trying to remain tight-lipped they don't want anything getting out there of course don't want to talk about that and i think we can expect to of course have more details fleshed out that were already kind of glazed over as it relates to what we already knew about this character from screen five that of course would be hopefully diving into her criminal past and some stuff that she's done that has done some other people wrong i was also considering the fact that maybe amber or richie had something happen to them that involves sam's criminal activity but maybe they're just saving that for screen six and that's where you guys who are wanting to have that revenge angle brought up again you'll get that revenge angle brought up i'm i'm certain it'll be back we haven't had the revenge motive since screen three in my honest opinion in the sense of no one's been out here just saying you know what you did me wrong i'm gonna get you back that's not been the case since screen three screen four was about becoming famous screen five was about getting a, a proper movie that you feel you are old as a toxic fan so with scream six i think they'll give you what you want you or what some of you want they'll give you that revenge motive and i'm pretty sure it'll tie into something that sam has done in her past so what i can see playing out is that we have tara her friends at college I'm still going to go out there and say Tara's dad would be one of the primary killers, but one of his partners could be a student who goes to class or goes to college with Tara and Mindy and Chad. This person we could end up finding out has hatred for Sam. Their hatred for Sam stems from the fact that Sam got, let's say, a relative of, because I think Sam, yeah, she mentioned she got, she went out there and got her hands on every drug they could think of. Sam during this time of using drugs there could have been something that went down that involved a relative of this of this student that goes to goes to school with Tara dying from an overdose and this overdose was something that involves Sam and her time with that with that person let's say this is a brother or just maybe even a friend of of this classmate of Tara and they despise Sam for this and you know that was just someone that meant a whole lot to them and this could be a whole emotional moment where the killer's revealing that. Kind of like how with Brenda and her reveal in Urban Legend. How you kind of, not justifying what she did, but I, I see where you're coming from and I do feel bad for you. You're still wrong, but maybe we could get something like that in Scream 6 where we learn that Sam was involved in the death of someone. Not like hands-on, but the drug use, of course, because drugs can be de deadly. This led to someone that was a loved one of another person that again, this person would be a character, a classmate of Tara's working with Tara's dad, who I again have as the main ghost face killer. This would be someone who has it out for Sam because Sam killed their friend or they believe Sam had a factor in the death of their friend because of that drug use and the overdose. So they want the wanting to take it out on Sam and take Tara away from Sam the same way that Sam took away their friend or their relative, whoever it may be someone that meant a lot to them and they just blame sam for it this could be a way to bring up sam's criminal past coming back to haunt her and how you your actions will indeed have consequences later on in your life 
So that's that's just how I see that playing out. I would like I would love to have a more fleshed out backstory as it relates to what Sam may have gone through. I still want to have Tara as the focus going into Scream Six. I don't think that Sam is going to be so interesting to the point that we need to carry the narrative with her. But if it if it is Sam that's carrying it, that's still fine because again, Melissa does a great job as Sam. Something about Tara though just seems a lot more compelling and I think it's coming from mostly the fact that Jenna Ortega is very young and she's had to deal with a lot dealing with her her sister and her leaving her with her mother who was an alcoholic and then now dealing with a recent killing spree that took away some of your friends from you a boy they maybe you didn't have a crush on but still were good friends with but you know also i could say not so maybe because i think amber texted tara saying is west still messing with you maybe it was a case where they were good friends and when west revealed that he liked tara tara became cold with him so who knows where that could go i just think it would be a better idea to explore the trauma with this younger younger sister than compared to the older one that's just my thoughts on that i realize that sam has a very good parallel between herself and sydney sydney is paying for the mother for the sins of her mother sam is paying for the sins of her father but tara is still indirectly linked to sam so her carrying the bulk of the story will work just as well probably better in my opinion again this is mostly me thinking that there's more value in tara given that she's just now getting out of high school and she's gonna have to be processing a lot more stuff more she's still growing and she's still learning and she's still going to be developing going into college and then you know you have another ghost face killing spree and i think jenna ortega is, is just very commanding when she's on screen so i would love to have a movie just centered on jenna ortega carrying the bulk of the narrative with sam again acting the way tara acted in screen five she's kind of just there as the side piece the side sister still very important and necessary for the narrative but she's not going to be the focus it would be tara but i would love to have something fleshed out that involves sam's criminal past coming back to haunt her that involves a ghost face partner that's a partner of tara's dad who again will always be my main ghost face until proven otherwise or until we see something else and learn more details about the film and i'll start speculating other stuff but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course and let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video